Hey everyone and welcome to Chinese Skill Unit 30. In this unit, we're going to expand a little more on professions as well as introduce a few new basic grammar structures. So let's get started. Do you remember how to ask, what is your job? Or what job do you do? 你做什么工作? What's your job? And do you remember how to ask, what do you like to do? 你喜欢做什么? What do you like to do? For a lot of us, it's not uncommon for the answers to these two questions to be different. In Chinese, to draw a contrast between what someone likes to do and what someone does for work, we can use the following structure. Sui ren plus phrase A, followed by dan shi plus phrase B. Sui ren means although or even though and dan shi means but. For example, sui ren ta xi huan hua hua, dan shi ta bu shi hua jia. Sui ren ta xi huan hua hua, dan shi ta bu shi hua jia. Even though he likes to paint, he is not a painter. Zuo fan means to make food. And chu shi is the name for a cook in Chinese. Using the sui ren dan shi structure, how would you say, although he likes to make food, but he is not a cook? Sui ren ta xi huan zuo fan. Dan shi ta bu shi chu shi. Sui ren ta xi huan zuo fan, dan shi ta bu shi chu shi. Although he likes to make food, but he is not a cook. Did you get that right? Next, I want to expand a little bit on a time word from previous units. Before, we learned using a time phrase plus yi qian can express before or previous to a specific time. Yi qian can also be used alone to simply mean before now or previously. For example, I could say, Yi qian, wo shi, cheng shu yuan. Literally, before I was a programmer, or I used to be a programmer. Here, yi qian comes before the subject, but just like any other time phrase, yi qian can also be placed after the subject. So I could also say, 我以前是程序员, which still means I was a programmer previously. Now, combining this use of 以前 to mean previously with 现在 for right now, we can make another contrast, but this time it's between current and prior jobs. For example, I could say, 以前我是英语老师, I used to be an English teacher, now I'm a Chinese teacher. Let's look at two more basic occupations. 演员 means actor, and 作家 means writer. So how would you say, I used to be a writer, now I am an actor. 以前我是作家,现在我是演员。以前我是作家,现在我是演员。以前我是作家, I used to be a writer, now I am an actor. Good job. Looking back at the words for painter, hua jia, and writer, zuo jia, did you notice both of these have the word jia at the end? Here, jia actually means a specialist in a certain field. So someone who specializes in music, yin yue. It's called a musician, or yin yue jia. 
So if I told you science is 科学 could you guess how to say scientist? 科学家科学家 a scientist. Good. Lastly, we learned in the previous unit that the word 同 means the same, like in 同学 for classmate and 同事 for coworker. 行 means trade or industry. So to express that someone is in the same industry as you, we can say 同行同行 people of the same industry or profession. So let's imagine you just met someone and you ask them, 你做什么工作 What's your job? They respond, 我是老师 I'm a teacher. So first of all, how can you say I am also a teacher? 我也是老师 I am also a teacher. Now, how would you say we are people of the same profession? 我们是同行。我们是同行。We have the same profession. Good job. Bye bye.